in video description I have provided the link to download free practice model please subscribe to this channel hi friends in this video we are going to see the general tooling and design consideration for doghouse so doghouse is nothing but we can using a separate feature to have the height so here we have the clip which is mounting on the doggos and generally we will have the doggos for the snaps or tower clips so here i have taken an automated trim part there i have the plastic clips the plastic clip is mounted on the doggos this pink part is clip this brown color area is doggos feature and here this blue is the slider direction for this doggos feature so here we will see about the slider limitations and boundary so whatever mentioned in blue is the slider profile from this yellow mark to this one used to call as stroke this is the distance slider is going to travel and then we have this lifter area so once the slider is sliding out after that it will move in z direction by the help of this lifter mechanism So here we need to have the one more stroke. It's nothing but this stroke, slider area and the lifter area need to come out. So usually the lifter size is 20 to 25 mm. For the smaller doggos, it is 20 mm. For the bigger doggos, the lifter size will be 25 mm. And then we used to have 3 to 4 mm of extra. Due to clearance, so after this, we need to have the next feature on the B surface. So, this is how we need to calculate the stroke length of the slider mechanism stroke plus 20 or 25 mm lifter area plus one more stroke we need to add and then plus or plus 3 to 4 mm after this only we need to have the another feature so it is important for us to make sure that the whole zoom in the b surface should have positive or zero degree of draft if it has negative draft then the slider motion will affect <coughs> so from this edge to the outer edge of this profile or feature is the stroke so our slider from this point to this point it has to come out this length is called stroke normally varies between doggos to doggos so it depends upon the doggos this stroke length may change so the side face of the doggos is going to clear by the help of main tooling direction so that we need to have minimum three degree of draft so this yellow line shows the slider stops till this area so the top surface of your doggos need to clear in the main tooling direction that is what mentioned here so this fillet on this both sides need to be above or on the edge of the slider area make sure that fillet edge is on or above slider line so this is our slider line so this area are clearing by the help of slider so this uh, 
clip catching area is clearing in the main tooling direction to have the proper fit so this fillet is to add the strengthen to the dog goes so minimum it should be 2 to 3 mm just in case when we have space constraint for this slider moment we will not consider this fillet so this fillet also will be cleared in the slider area so most case if you don't have any space or some constraints in that area in that time we no need to have this fillet so this fillet 3 mm 3 degree we need to provide with the slider direction so that it will get cleared in the slider motion itself so this orange color is mentioned as normally we will keep it 3 mm for slider construction so slider will have extra 3 mm on the sides so this yellow area we have space constraint for slider width we will not consider this then slider with all shown in yellow if we have any another feature coming on this area then we can go with this yellow line itself thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt please mention in the comment box In video description, I have provided the link to download free practice model. Please subscribe to this channel.